Throughout my life, I've always been exposed to the medical field. I'm a fourth generation doctor, starting from my grandfather to my dad to myself. Initially, I knew I wanted to be a surgeon, I swear, as early as third grade. My dad was a general and thoracic surgeon, and I started operating with him when I was 12 years old. And I always thought I was going to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. And when I was in medical school, my sister actually had um, an operation, and she went from the most quiet introvert to the most outgoing extrovert. My early fascinations uh, with medicine were to become a family doctor, and then I was exposed to surgery, where I saw the ability to be a family doctor and a technician, working with your hands, designing things, recreating things, rebuilding things, and that fascination led me to plastic surgery. I always thought I wanted to be a heart surgeon, and uh, I realized that early on in medical school that was really not what suited my personality and uh, I found uh, a lecture in plastic surgery and the diversi diversity in plastic surgery, the, um, there's no bounds in terms of age or gender of patients and body locations and that was the most interesting uh, uh, career path for me. With me it was just sort of a natural continuum of trying to continue on the tradition that my family established in taking care of patients in addition to taking care of individuals and treat them like they want to be treated like family. So I said to my dad, what exactly what happened? And he said she had a breast augmentation. And it was amazing to me that I realized that an operation can totally change the way a person perceives himself. Part of what interests me in plastic surgery is the diversity, so I never want to be uh, pigeonholed into one particular area or one particular type of patient. Um, in many ways there are similarities between the two types of surgery in that uh, patients have uh, expectations and uh, with reconstructive surgery after breast cancer or skin cancer and just like cosmetic surgery somebody who's had a baby and wants to have a tummy tuck or a breast lift or breast augmentation they there are patients who want to feel better about themselves they've gone through a change in their life and um, we're still trying to to, to make them meet those, or have them meet those goals where they can feel better about themselves. So those are very, very similar um, uh, avenues, even though they're two very different things that you're gonna be treating. You know, with plastics and plastic surgery, my motivation when going through med school was, you know, people either work with the elderly or they work with the young. There's not very many professions that really work from pediatrics all the way up through the people's teenage years and going through. Every age has their own subset of problems in the pediatric patients. I fix cleft lips and cuff palates when people get in car wrecks or you know in their 20s when they want to have breast enhancement or breast reduction. And those patients continue to be your patients throughout their life because you did their breast reduction or breast augmentation 30 years ago. They come back and see you for your facelift or eyelid lift or something else. And so the continuation of patients and sort of the honesty and rapport that you build from is one of the unique aspects of why I like being a plastic surgeon. In cosmetic and plastic surgery, we address preoccupations. We address things that are created abnormally and we address things that people have that are normal but they're unhappy with it. We all also address, uh, unfortunately, many people who have had cancer and they've lost an important part of their body, maybe their nose, their eyelid, their ear, their lip, their cheek. Uh, and we work on rebuilding those areas and restoring dignity to the people who have them. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna look into this. So when I was in medical school, I did a one month rotation at Stanford University out in California in plastic surgery. And I did a one month rotation with one of the best heart surgeons in the world at Jefferson in Philadelphia. And at the end of it, I realized that plastic surgery allows me to uh, look at each problem and create a new solution. You have to use artistry, you have to use your knowledge and your skills to get the result you want. And uh, so every day is a new exciting day. And that's why I became a plastic surgeon. It's one of the greatest joys is being a plastic surgeon, knowing that you can dramatically change somebody that would be really secluded and embarrassed about the way they look to somebody who can lead a pretty normal life.